why don't you hang on to this? Looks like you thought of everything. All set. It's shoddy, and we'll have to be careful, but it should get the three of us there and back in one piece. Awesome. Well, <clears throat> let's go. For all of you out there, cross everything for us. Hopefully we find something. Oh Come on! Yep. Sorry for the lengthy radio silence. We ran into... Actually, I'm not sure what we ran into. Why am I even looking in here? It's not like we have any eyes. Jack got into an accident making a hasty retreat down the stairs. Hasty? Um, you saying Bolt called? He wants his world record back? We all saw the same thing, right? It's not my concussion messing with my memory. No. Thanks. We all saw it. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that the stairs were deliberately destroyed. Probably to keep reckless morons like us from ever reaching the first floor. Okay, we're all a bit shaky. It was immediately clear that we weren't welcome upstairs. What tipped you off? The random flying projectiles or the high-pitched threatening screams? Jax had got up close and personal with one of those said projectiles. Hey, I'm a lot taller than you. It takes me a lot longer to duck down. You were so stunned that you forgot to duck. Oh, shit. And it destroyed my phone. In between the screams, we heard whispering voices. It was leading us towards this room at the end of the hallway. I think it was the master bedroom. It was creepy as hell. I mean, it was as if it was frozen in time. It was filled with dusty old furniture. I don't know, it actually would have been a pretty incredible sight if it weren't for the imminent danger. Yeah, it was stunning. The four-poster bed. It really was. Come on, what is this, the Antiques Roadshow? Like Sorry, sorry. Um, right, so when we entered the room, the voices just got louder and louder. They weren't whispering at all. They were desperate to be heard. We realized they were coming from the fireplace. So we turned our attention towards it, but then things got a little nasty. They got downright terrifying. Yeah, a whirlwind of some kind started in the middle of the room. I don't know how, but it sucked things up into this cloud of dust. I could barely make out the other side of the room. It was just getting bigger and bigger. Chunks of furniture was just flying past my head. Jack ran over to the fireplace, but Soot whipped her in the head and she had to pull back. Man, the floors were creaking because the bigger furniture was getting sucked into the center, and then the mirror fell, and then shards just everywhere, little pieces flying all over the place. And then Jack screamed at us to get out. But before we could get out, a piece of the paneling from the fireplace broke off, revealing a space in the wall. Yeah, a, a book actually flew out of the hole and headed straight for Casey. I caught it. Bad idea. The house started shaking. Elia's arm got hit by one of the shards. I thought the floor was going to give way. Jack bolted and we weren't far behind. You didn't see what I saw. There was a face. Through all the dust, there was a contorted face coming at me. Yeah, you jumped out of there so quickly, I nearly thought you were on fire. Ellie and I got to the top of the staircase just in time to see Jack take a flying leap. That was some jump. I tripped. You jumped. Okay, well, maybe I was a little nervous that the house was going to collapse. Yeah, it did sound like it. When Ellie and I got to the bottom of the staircase, we were ready to just run out the door, but then it just stopped. Everything just stopped. How's your arm? Oh, it's fine. How are you? I don't know. I'm gonna resemble a checkerboard for the next couple of days, but I think I came off the best here. Besides, is all worth it. I'm holding Lady Grantham's journal.
You two have been friends for a long time? Since the second grade. Are you together? No. No. Almost. Once, but we're better off as friends. Jack's been my one constant through everything. Losing my mom, my dad, starting Haunted or Hoax. It's not every day you find someone like that. No, it's not. She's a good person. If you give her a chance, you two might get along. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. I don't understand you two. Yes, you do. Oh, come on, the girl's obviously in love with you. I'm a threat. <laughs> no, we're just best friends. We agreed. I think you'll find she changed her mind. You must see the way she looks at you. That girl would do anything for you. I mean, she's here, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this right now. I get it. It's not my business. <clears throat> Are you? What? <laughs> 